Hey everybody, this is Caroline coming to you again with another Alexa video. And today I am going to install the Nest thermostat, third generation, and get it working with my phone and then get it working with my Alexa. Uh, just note, this is not a paid endorsement of the Amazon Echo, Echo Dot, Amazon products, or the Nest thermostats. I purchased these items with my own money, so not a paid endorsement. Also, this video is presented without any warranty. Uh, watch this. Uh, do these instructions at your own risk. All right, thank you very much. And now let's get started. I'm gonna do the unboxing first of the Nest thermostat so you can see exactly what you get in the box and then what you need to do. Let's start with the unboxing of the third generation Nest learning thermostat here. The other thing I wanted to point out before we actually unbox this is that there's a little note on here. I don't know if you can see it, but it says before unwrapping this. So there's a little pull tab right here. It says before unwrapping it, check at this website nest.com forward slash ca forward slash works to see if this is compatible with your system. So I'm going to do that now. The website we're going to is nest.com forward slash ca forward slash works and it says let's look at your wires and I've already taken a look at my wires prior to starting this video. I took a picture. I'm referring to that picture and I am going to click off on the wires that I saw. So R, H, W, Y, and G. And I'm gonna click yes, continue. Yay, my thermostat is compatible. Uh, my system is compatible with the third generation Nest thermostat. That is the thermostat I am installing today. And it even gives me this nice little wiring diagram for when I uh, reach that step. Now that we have determined that our system is compatible with this Nest thermostat, I'll continue with the unboxing. Uh, so right here, there's a little pull tab here. And we'll pull that off and then the top and the bottom, it's like a little gift box here. So here's the thermostat, a little cover on it. Here's the device plastic remove right here. You can see the back of it here. So this is the thermostat that is right here. And then pull this off and we've got a little package of paperwork here. And then inside is, uh, this is the part that attaches to the wall right here, screws, and a nice little nest tool. And I think that's about it for what's in this box. Oh, no, I am wrong. So there are other hardware here to assist you in installing this nest thermostat. This is a, a cover plate in case, you know, you want to cover up some holes or anything in case your last thermostat was a lot larger. And then if you need a plate, some people need a plate. Hopefully I won't need that for this installation at my house. And then uh, some screws as well uh, for this plate. So they, they really try to do a good job of making sure you have everything you need by giving you actually probably more items than you really need to install this. Uh, back to the paperwork. This was like a little folder and uh, I'm sure the instructions are inside here. Welcome to the nest. Gives you little instructions here, how it works. Professional installation. Uh, so yes, if you are uncomfortable doing any of the directions in this video, please go for the professional installation. And uh, insulate, okay, this is the installation guide here. And then the more you nest, the better it gets. All right, so this is a little piece of advertising in here. So very lovely and we're going to get started uh, removing the old thermostat now. Now this is the first step in the installation, well actually uninstallation of your old thermostat in your home. This is the most important step as well. If you learn nothing else from this video, please pay attention to this one step. Now if you're uncomfortable doing this step, please hire a professional. It is much more worth it to not hurt yourself, not um, 
damage your existing HVAC system uh, if you're uncomfortable doing this. The first step is to turn off the breaker to our HVAC system, to our thermostat, so that we don't, one, electrocute ourselves, or B, blow a fuse in our HVAC system. So please, please, please do this step. If you are unclear or uncomfortable on doing this step, please hire a professional. Thank you. All right, so now I am at my breaker box. I'm gonna turn off all the power to my HVAC unit, which I believe is this one and this one right here. To test, to see if I have done this correctly, I'm going to go over to my thermostat. So this is my thermostat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can uh, adjust the thermostat and see if the air conditioner comes on. I've got it on cool, I've got it, it was on 75. I'm gonna see if I can kick on the thermostat. So I'm going to say that the power to the thermostat is now off. Now you see it's powered by batteries, so that's why the display is on. And if I take out the display, if I take out the batteries, the display will go off and then I really can't tell what's going on over here anyway. And no power going to my thermostat now. I'm going to take off the old thermostat. I'm good to remove uh, this unit now. And now we see our old wires here. So what is provided in the manual here is these little stickers. I'm gonna do the English version. So we have these little stickers they provide. You're supposed to label each um, wire before you take it off or as you're uh, removing them. And if there's a jumper, it says you can just go ahead and remove the jumper. All right, so the first one is I'm gonna do RB and I'm gonna put a little sticker on R, it's actually RH, sorry. The first one is RH over here, I'm gonna put a sticker on RH. And you can see I labeled RH. So we've got all our wires labeled now, we can now remove this panel from the wall. Now we see what we're dealing with back here. And we'll pull that plate off the wall as well. So, uh, so next we will put on the new thermostat. Okay, I'm keeping it real for you guys here. Um, just to let you guys know, I ran into a little issue. So the idea is that you're supposed to put all the wires through the middle here and then attach the nest base to your wall here or to your box. And uh, there's uh, just a lot of, uh, there's a big hole. So that's not gonna work for me. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to start using the extra pieces that they gave to me. So I'm gonna use this, but see it, the box is a lot bigger. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to take the screws from thermostat previous and attach this like so. And then we're gonna take the other screw and then try to attach it. And try to, and try to get this as straight as best as we can here. And then we're gonna take the cover plate and try to match that up here. And there are screws included. Got the cover plate on. So now we'll go back to attempting to get the base on here. And it said in the, in the instructions it's really important to get this perfectly level here. So my bubble is between the two lines. Try to get that on nice and tight. And now we're ready to hook back up our wires. So uh, R. This one right here. And then we'll push this back. And this is the wiring of our nest right here. And then from here on, it should be really easy. We'll uh, just pop this on right here. It should just click into place. Boom, click. 
Now you don't see anything because I gotta turn the power back on. All right, so let's go do that now. Okay, now we're turning the breaker back on. On, on, on. Everything's back on now. Our nest should be coming up shortly. And here is our nest coming on for the very first time. Well, this is the first thing that came up on our nest here. So I, we're in the US, so I'm gonna, so I'm gonna click on US. Is there a button? Do you, oh, okay, there it goes. So I guess you just push down on the ring here. Confirm my choice. English, US. All right, internet connection. We'll do that next. Connect. All right, please enter the password. Okay, we are connecting to our network now. I entered in the password. Thermostat is online. Press to continue. Okay, now we're going to check for a software update. I don't need to program it. Finish. And cool set to 75. All right, so that is step one. Uh, well, that's the installation of the Nest thermostat. Next, we're gonna uh, hook this up to the Nest app and then the smart home skill with Alexa. In this step, we're gonna set up our Nest account. And we're gonna hit sign up. My email has been verified. I would like to control my Nest. I've set up my account and I'm ready to set up my home. And I'm home. Now we have the home set up. We have our Nest account set up. I'm going to click add product and it's going to give me a choice. So we just installed the Nest thermostat. Click on that. Make sure I have the installation guide and my Wi-Fi password. Next. Install my thermostat. I already did that. So I'm going to click next. Five digit entry key. Go to settings on the thermostat, choose Nest account, and get the entry key. Ah, and it's connected. That was quick. I'm going to click done. Entryway. And now I've got it set to 75. I can hit it 74. Up and down. Inside humidity, outside temperature, cool fan schedule. I can, I can program this. I can schedule this. I can create a schedule. I can't see the history. Well, there's not much of a history right now. All right, and that's the setup right there for the Nest thermostat. Thank you very much. I'm going to set this up with my Alexa. Go to Smart Home, and I'm going to get more Smart Home skills. So I'm going to search for Nest right here. Nest. I'm going to enable Nest. I am going to accept terms and conditions. Alexa has been successfully linked with Nest. All right, that's great. Ask me if I want to discover devices. Yes. Let's see if my Nest comes up here. Ah, and sure enough, entryway Nest thermostat condo is right here. Awesome. All right, so now we're gonna go uh, test it. Okay, so now we have our uh, thermostat set. It's set to it's set with our Amazon Echo. So I'm gonna try a command here. Alexa, set entryway to 72 degrees. Setting entryway AC to 72. And my AC just kicked on. It's showing that it's 75 right now. It's, it's uh, setting it to 72 and I, it will be 72 within 50 minutes. All right. Uh, so you can rename it. The name was entry because that's where my, uh, when I programmed it, that's where I said that my nest was, uh, but we can create a group and then change the name. So I will do that next. So it, in my previous video, I showed you how to uh, change the thermostat. Uh, but it was called entryway and I didn't really like that. So I wanted to rename it. So the easy way to rename it is to create a group. Click group. I'm going to, I want to call it my nest. Change nest. So it's entryway right now. Save. And now I've got a device called nest. And so now it will know that I'm, that when I say nest to change the temperature. So now you see, um, now I'm going to command 
my thermostat as a nest because I called it a group, I gave it a group name. Alexa, set nest to 80 degrees. Okay. And there it is. So this project is complete. I can now refer to this as my nest and I can tell it what temperature to set it at. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.